hello friends so i will start a separate videos now for interview questions on design for test for vls iics so these are the some questions i'll be keep on posting time to time uh, which usually asked in the vls idft interviews so today i have a uh, 10 questions these are basic questions but uh, time to time i'll be posting some inter intermediate and some high level interview questions on dft so let's get started so the first question is like why there is a need for manufacturing test patterns to test the ic when there are functional or verification patterns are already available for those ics so since we already have the verification patterns we verify our design whatever the rtl we code we write so if we already have those verification patterns then what is the need for the the rate pg or manufacturing patterns to test ic so you need to justify this answers by giving some basic suitable example so i will not be posting the answers i will just discuss the question because uh, everybody has their own technique to get the answers by using google books or any other material so i'll be mostly focusing on the questions now let's go to the next question so the second question here is why we have design for test in vlsi design flow and what is design for test so you need to answer like why we do the design for test in our vlsi design and you need to define what is the design for test you can give some suitable example here as well so the third question is what is complete flow and steps involved in the design for test explain each step in few words so basically you need to identify the flow like for example like embist edt then occ scan atpg simulations timing and no timing so uh, those things you need to explain here in a proper flow and you need to explain each flow in in few, few words The next question is what are the advantages and disadvantages of design for test? So suppose you are inserting some extra logic to the IC, so you need to be aware of what is the advantage and disadvantages of that, and you need to explain like if you are inserting some extra logic, then what is the impact of that with respect to maybe area, delay, power, or etc. So you need to answer this question. The fifth question is is there any VLSI ICs present or was present in the market without design for test so you need to figure out is there any ICs without DFT logic or in the past do you know any like any VLSI chip which doesn't have DFT in it so you need to find the answers for this The sixth question is suppose if any VLSI IC is very small consist of only few gates or flops so is it possible to write the functional and manufacturing patterns manually that is by hand and verify that patterns for that particular IC the small IC so basically you need to give some ex small example here like uh, some adders or some counters 2 bit 4 bit counter something like that you need to draw and explain like how you you will write the manual patterns to test it functionally as well as for the defects the seventh question is what are the different fault types are present in vlsi ics so you need to give example for that like stuck at fault transition fault uh, path delay fault a small delay defects there are many faults so you need to figure out those and like explain them by example the eighth question is how dft is performed for digital circuits analog circuits and mixed logic circuits so basically we we perform dft for digital analog and mixed signal but there are some differences so you need to find out what are the basic differences between these circuits and how we perform dft for them the ninth question is what are the different types of test performed on vlsi ics and how to test an ic so you need to give an example for that so different type of test in the sense manufacturing test characterization test burn in test or uh, you can say a uh, chip probe test and there are so many tests so you need to figure out what are the different test types are there in the vlsi ics and you need to give some example for that 
Now the 10th and the last question is you need to figure out the differences between the structural test and functional test, verification and validation, what are the different fault, defects and errors, what is the difference between them and then what is the difference between simulation and emulation. So for this video these are the 10 basic questions, I will be keep on posting time to time many other questions right from now like from intermediate and then some advanced level questions. So thank you. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.